Hey everybody. Um, real quick, I've been testing out these um, Color It art markers. They have this, I don't know if it's a special or they're doing it all the time. You get three random markers um, for free. You just have to pay the shipping. I think it was $3.99. And I've had, you know, a couple of different coupons and special codes and stuff. So it didn't cost me a lot of money. And I got three really pretty colors. Um, so I've been trying them out on this picture. And um, I have to say that they are very difficult to control they um especially the little um pointy and the little fine tip marker um let me show you it's it's like a learning curve with these i guess it's, it's an alcohol base i'm pretty sure yeah alcohol based ink there's a learning curve because like for things like this you can try to get in a little closer. I'm sorry. Okay, for things like like this, you know, you want to get really, really close to the um the curve here. It, it's almost impossible because the ink is just gonna bleed out. It's just gonna bleed, and it's not gonna be a perfect crisp line. So you just gotta read like I barely touched the line, and it just it goes out. So you gotta kind of go where I don't even know how to explain it you gotta stop before the edge of the line so it'll kind of fill in itself if that makes sense because wherever you put it it's gonna like just keep going um like for instance I want to try to get in this tiny little crease right here I kind of put it as close to the tip and see it spread a little bit do it again and then just hope for the best things like this but I mean the colors they sent are beautiful and um, they're very very what I would call juicy lots of ink um, they don't have a, a horrible smell I'm always worried about odors when I purchase items like this because I have really bad asthma and strong odors will set it off and I do have markers that have done that and I can't use them because they're that bad so the broad tip um, very juicy you get a lot of ink that comes out at one time sorry about the noise they um they blend a little bit um i did a little bit of blending right here you can't tell very much um down at the bottom ignore that that was a colored pencil i was doing but um I, so far i'm liking them it's just like i said there's that learning curve oh shoot there is a learning curve and it's I always have issues with markers just because they're streaky maybe I just don't know what the heck I'm doing it's probably it but I'm finding that sometimes with markers I'm having to go over it several times just because of the streakiness or you go one way and then you go the other way crisscross and all that fun stuff but see like you can see right here where I went over the line a little bit of the uh, pink it's you know bleeding out a little bit I don't like that but I mean I don't know I don't hate them I don't know if I would buy the entire set as it stands right now I would have to play with them a little bit more and get a little bit better um, we'll get a little bit better with them I hate the noise 
I don't know. You do have to go over it several times because it does leave a lot of um, spots and stuff. I'm just trying to try different things and go over them and see how it's working. This is just a test page. I'm not, you know, super worried about it. I can print it again. See, I'm kind of smelling it a little bit now, that alcohol smell. I guess it's because of the fine tip. See, it does bleed a little bit when you combine the two. That. I guess it just depends if that bothers you or not. I'm making a mess of this picture, by the way. But it did blend a little bit right here. The red and the purple. Or the pink and the purple. That kind of looks cool. I guess for this, I need to get in there with the... Um, the fine tip a little bit more. Ooh. This, what I'm using is um, heavy cardstock. And it is, you can see, it is bleeding through. It's got on my table. So just protect your, um, you know, whatever you're using. All alcohol markers do that, so it's nothing new. Oh, sorry. I hate the streaks on this. So I guess you just got to keep going over them a little bit until it gets a little bit smoother. I don't know if I, you know, would do a whole page with this until I'm better at using them. But, oh shoot. I guess you just gotta keep going over it until you get the lines right. I don't know. If anybody out there knows the trick to these alcohol markers, please share. I would really appreciate that. See, it looks really good when it's dark and you're putting it on there. It's not until it starts drying where you can see where all of the streaks are. And I know it's not going to get super perfectly smooth or anything, but I would like to make it look a little better than that. And I did, oh see, it's looking a little bit better. I did do a, another page earlier with um, my O Hue Hue, I think it's called, markers to show you. Uh oh, I should have done that. To show you kind of a difference with the markers. Same type, same alcohol ink. I guess it's a little better. I guess it's all about um, putting layers on it, you know? Let's try this color. Let's see what it does. For the eye, maybe a little dot. What is this? It's like a green. Yeah, you just put a dot on it and it'll fill in definitely
This one was the O Hue Hue markers. And I did have to go over it several times, especially with this flush color. But these were a lot less expensive. I think you get 80 of them in a bag. And I have to check the price. But it was a lot cheaper than the Color It ones for sure. And I did... And I did this one with the O-Hue Hue markers and um, it got really really streaky right here and I made the mistake and I went over it with some Prismas and it just left a lot of streaks and it kind of, I don't know, bloomed out over here. So, but it, it gives really good coverage and um, like I said, you know, this brand, uh, let me see, you get a lot of them, and I colored this page and this page with those markers, with the OQC markers, and I colored this one with these. Um, let me give you the prices. Are these a set of 80 of the Ohuhu? I hope I'm saying that right. For these markers, they are, you can get the 80 pack with the case for $38 or you can get the 40 with a smaller case for $19.99 and they're really good I mean they're a little smaller I think the pointy end is a little finer it just says art marker but I'm pretty sure it's alcohol and then for the color it okay, for the color it markers you get 50 of them the dual tip with a premium case the case is a lot better than the Ohuhu ones I must say it's beautiful for $99.99 for 50 markers okay and let's see if I can do a quick comparison. With these. Okay. I'll try and get very similar colors. This is going to be the color it and this is going to be the O hue hue okay this one is called magenta let's let it sit and see how it bleeds out Okay. This one is called Light Periwinkle. Okay. This one is Jade Green. Really bright, really pretty, does have a smell. Let's see the OQ if I can find a comparable. This one says magenta. Okay, 
watching also, but oh man. Bleeds out just as much. Oh. Yeah, it does have an like odor too. Um, let's try the nope, that's not right. The violet color. I know these aren't perfect, I'm just trying to get by the looks of the caps. That's totally different color, isn't it? And this is like a what's it called? Jade green. Let's see. Jade. Here we go. A little darker. I mean, I don't know. I'll try one a little lighter. Still not the same color, but you get the gist of it. It. <laughs> For, for the cost, you know, you get 50 markers for $99.99 or you get 80 for, for $38.88. I mean, come on, do the math. These are more, they're more shaped more like Copics than the Ohu Hues. See, they are smaller for sure. And these are like triangular shape like the Copics. And these are more of a rectangular shape. Tiny, tiny bit taller, bigger. But, for the price, I mean, there's really no difference. And I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I could probably find shades that look like this. Um, but, I mean, for the price, I, I don't see what the big deal is. The oh hue hues are fine for me. So, you know, there you go. You can make up your own decisions. This way... The markers are 48 cents each and if you purchased this way they are a dollar 99 each And, uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's free shipping for both if you have prime and anything over a certain amount I think $50 at color it is free shipping I want to say but I mean I like the color it products don't get me wrong I have their books and I have their their pencils and everything but for this I don't see the big deal okay thanks for watching bye, -bye.